हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल रियल देसी ट्रेडर्स सो फ्रेंड्स आई होप टुडे वाज वन मोर प्रॉफिटेबल डे फॉर यू गाइस सो हाउ आर यू फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस बैंक निफ्टी ट्रेड एंड एज यू गाइस नो दैट येस्टरडे आई कंडक्टेड अ पोल ऑन ट्विटर रिगार्डिंग दैट विच लैंग्वेज वीडियोज यू वॉन्ट मी टू अपलोड इन कमिंग फ्यूचर सो see i got lot of personal messages regarding the youtube videos where few people ask me to make a video on youtube in english language so that they can comfortably understand what i am sharing and what are my views i am sharing with all of you people so a uh, lot of guys participated in the poll and there are the percentage of people who are interested in english language youtube videos are more than the hindi language and Hing and english language that was one more option which i kept there so here uh, what i'm going to do as uh, there is a approximate 50 50% of uh, poll after after getting the results from this poll i came came across this fact that approximate 50% people want me to make the videos in english and 50% people want me to make the video in hindi so what i'm going to do that today's youtube video is specifically i'm going to dedicate this for my friends those who cannot understand hindi and they want me to make video in english so friends today this video is going to be a lengthy one because uh, i will discuss each and everything each and every step which i take to uh, to take my daily day to day bank nifty trade and whatever i have shared in my previous videos i am going to share all that things in this video so it's my request to all of you those who are going to watch this video if you want to know each and every aspect of my trading each and every setup strategy which i have shared in my previous videos in hindi language then please go through this video completely because i will share each and everything including indicators including setups including time frame and what are the strategies and what are the i mean the kind of trades i take i am going to discuss each and everything so friends i i hope uh, today was one more a profitable day for you guys because today was a today we got a very good trend in bank nifty and yesterday was a expiry day so most mostly on friday we almost find a good rally in any direction whether it's on up trend or down trend so today also i did a trade and uh, as usual today trade was also profitable so let's start let's start about all the things which i do on my day to day routine to trade it in bank nifty so friends uh i will start with my uh, first thing which i usually do and i have shared in my previous videos also that in the early morning before taking the trade at 9 am or around 8:50 am what i do i just go through the investing.com to see the the kind of trend which are which is going to happen throughout the day and i just go through all these things like a uh, us stock exchange that whether it's open in green or red so this gives me the idea that which how the market is going to behave today so after going through all the indices and foreign indexes i get a good idea that what's going to happen so early morning when you think about starting your trade then once you can go through the investing.com like nifty 50 this one is for india bsc sensex nifty bank nasdaq 100 s&p 500 for usa nasdaq hang seng hang seng for hong, hong kong so if we talk about right now then currently it's showing a positive trend for positive trend for all the foreign exchanges so that's how i early morning i get a idea that how the trend is going to play throughout the day but we cannot totally dependent uh, on this thing because see our market is our market perform totally different way different but at least somehow we get the idea just to take some idea i just go through this page 
otherwise uh, we cannot uh, totally predict how market going to behave on the basis of these indexes movement but we can get a little bit idea so what i'm going to do is that after going through all these things investing.com and all this i just then wait for the trade and when the market gets open i just check the trend so here it's a daily time frame so i'm going to make i'm going to change it to 3 minute candlestick chart so most of you must be aware about my candlestick chart that which time frame i usually use i just take trades on 3 minute time frame so let's uh before uh, before talking about the detail of my today's trade i would like to tell about the indicators i used and setup i used so that those who are my uh, in i mean those who are english viewers and those who cannot understand hindi and want to know about all my trading setup and strategies can go through this so friends uh, i'm just going to show you guys the time frame the i mean the indicators i use so this one is volume you can see here volume bar i use pivot points standard pivot points you can keep the settings at standard and i use the rsi rsi is at 14 time frame so you can keep the rsi at 14 and moving average 50 50 ema and uh, moving average 8 ema so it's 50 ema and 8 ema you just you don't need to keep this 50 moving average just 50 ema and 8 ema and super trend setting is 10 comma 2 and psr setting is 0.002 comma 0. comma 0.2 and open interest and vwap go through this once again volume pivot points standard rsi 14 moving average 50 ema moving average 8 ema super trend 10 comma 2 psr 0.02 0.2 0 open interest vwap so i hope you guys have noted down it So now I'm going. I'm going to discuss how I use this on my day-to-day -day trading. So time frame which I use is three-minute candlestick chart. So here, here I'm going to share my today's view. So friends, today when market open, market open gap down. As you can see, the yesterday close was at thirty around thirty-two thousand. So today when market open, it open at approximate thirty-one thousand. 600 and it just moved around this 31610 to 700 and after this movement it took support at this pivot point see pivot points are very good indi indicators in zerodha and these give, these pivot points gives us a good value of support and resistance points these are very helpful indicators i don't draw the support and resistance on my chart because most of the support and resistance which you can see here these are drawn through pivot points indicator and as you know that these indicators are already these pivot point indicators these are already derived from the yesterday open high open low or previous days support resistance so we don't need to draw it ourselves but if some someone wants to draw it yourself then you can make not a problem but most most of the time i just consider these pivot points at my support and resistance so as you can see after taking a little bit retracement the candle took proper support at this point and then there is a indecision candle form you can see at this point there was a indecision between the buyers and sellers and here the sellers were not sure about the further selling and then the buyers came into the picture and they started showing their strength with the volume you can see the volume bar was also raising and one more thing i want to share with you guys that uh, most of the trades which i take generally i close my trade before 10 am early in the morning whenever i get time i try to close my trade between 9 9 15 to 10 am because during this time we we get a very good volume so that's what i always do and i have shared this in my previous videos also so see here here what's happening after getting a good 
retracement when the market opened gap down then it took a support at this pivot support point and from here we show we we saw a very good retracement a very good up move so friends this is the first indicator pivot point and this second indicator this is vwap i use vwap also because vwap act very uh, i mean it act very perfectly as a dynamic support and resistance most of the time when i take trade i use it as a dynamic support and resistance and it really helpful while taking trade so friends i i would like to show you guys my today early morning trade which i took during this time frame only just within 9:30 and this 9:45 i took all my trades i just took three trades and as most of you must be aware about this thing that i just set a target for me on daily basis and if i achieve my target before a tentative time then just i i just don't take another trade because i don't believe in giving a, giving all the profit back to the market because once if you have get your target get your money and you are into profit then it doesn't make any sense to give it back to the market because see the market is designed in such a way that it just take away all your all your money all your money i mean it happens lot of time with lot lot of time with most of the traders that their profitable position just get converted into the loss position why because we people cannot control our greed once we are into the profit we just think about getting more and more profit and just because of this attitude we lack whatever we have earned and we lose whatever we have earned into the market so we need to be patient we need to be disciplined in the market <clears throat> one more request i would like to uh, do to you guys those who are new to my channel and those who have subscribed or if somebody has not subscribed to my channel if you people think that i am putting a lot of effort and i am doing something good for you guys and please like and subscribe my channel please share my videos with your friends so that they can also learn what i am whatever i am sharing with you guys these setup and strategies at free of cost i am not charging a single penny to anyone you guys know that i conducted a few month ago i conducted a twitter poll on my twitter where i asked to people whether you want to learn things on free and most of you were interested in learning the things free so here i am sharing all my strategy setups and people will charge a lot of money to you to you people for these setup and strategies and believe me guys these things are working for me and throughout the day on daily basis i am making a good money out of this strategy so this is for the small traders and i started with a very less capital i am building my capital i am just increasing my capital day by day just because of the profit i am getting from bank nifty so friends once again i request you guys if you like my videos and my effort then please subscribe my channel and share my videos with your friends so let's continue so friend i uh, would like to sh share you my today trade so that that's my today trade i bought 31700 pe in early hour early morning at 340 and 355 then during retracement i took two trades 290 31600 pe at 290 at 295 and then when i saw a, a, a change in the movement then i entered with 31600 ce so 300 and 305 and just within these trades i got achieved my target i whatever the target i have set for me i just achieved my target and then i didn't took any trade so this 31700 pe and this trade these two pe trades i took during this time after after this downfall i waited for retracement when this retracement happened i took both of my pe trades at this point why i i am going to share you guys why why i took that trade at this point 
see whenever a retracement happen you can expect the retracement or the candle will go towards the support or resistance point so after the gap down opening it just bounces back it just bounces back from this point from the support point and i just eagerly waited for my entry and at this point i thought it will once again took retracement and i just took my entry here and within this time frame i took two entries of my pe trades and both of that were successful were profitable so you can see in my first trade i got the 15 point movement and then in my second pe trade i got 5 points movement and then i only took one trade c trade with 5 point profit so you can see all of my three trades were profitable one with 5 point profit one with 5 point profit one with 15 point profit so i took 20 i took 25 points profit from these trades so after getting my profit 25 points profit from these trades i didn't took my i didn't took any trades because i had achieved my target whatever target i set for me on daily basis whenever i achieve that target i just try to get away from the market though i if i get time i watch i watch the chart i go through the movement but i try to re restrain myself from taking the trades because satisfaction and discipline is very very important in trading very very important in trading because it's not about how much money you are making it's about return on investment you need to think in terms of return on investment that how much capital you have deployed to the market how much return you are getting on a particular in particular investment on day to day basis so i think like this if i get a good on daily basis whenever i achieve my return of investment whatever i i have invested into the market i just sit aside i just start watching the movement to learn more to to understand the market more i just take trades in my i just start taking trades into my mind so that i can understand that yes this movement should had been happen in like this way this movement could have been done in this way and if i just imagine the things in my mind what if i would have taken the trade at this time what would be the trade i would have taken what would be the trade that's how i train my mind because it's all about the psychology my dear friend it's not only about trading see you will learn the setup you will learn the strategy but at the end you need to implement these things in the live market and that is totally totally different from what you people go through into the books what you people what you people i mean totally different totally practical things we cannot learn these things from reading books or reading the i mean reading other people instructions or knowledgeable things it's all about implementation so you need to implement whatever you have learned and you need to train your mind it's all about the training your mind in a right right way so that your mind can take immediate action whenever is required so friends when i i got profitable within this at this time 940 and then i didn't took any trade so now i will tell you guys about other indicators i use so one we have discussed about pivot points second vwap why i use vwap because vwap very perfectly use uh, perfectly act as a support and resistance dynamic support and support and resistance <clears throat> so friends here what i do on daily basis like you can see this candle crossed the vwap so once it has crossed the vwap i start assuming that now the trend will be uptrend then listen it carefully once it crossed the vwap on upside so now i assume i start assuming that now the trend will be uptrend i need to be on positive side it means i need to buy the call not put because here it was below the vwap friends i am telling all this market candle movement along with the indicators so so that you people can correlate it in a much better way okay so here when once it broke the vwap line then 
I assume that now it will move upside, and it started moving upside with good volume, and meanwhile the RSI was also increasing, and uh, I think most of you uh, would have heard about the RSI and maybe using it also on day-to-day -day basis, and as we know that RSI above 50 and within the range of 50 to 70 is considered as a bullish, and below 30 is considered as a Bearish, bearish. So here RSI was moving upside and it was within the range of 45 to 50. So it was somehow indicating us that now the market is going to be in uptrend and it's going to be a bullish market. So here we see that market started moving upside and then here at this point that was a resistance point there we saw a in this season candle. Fine. So here a little bit retracement happened and I also use 8 EMA and 50 EMA exponential moving average. These exponential moving averages also act very perfectly as a dynamic support and <coughs> resistance. So friends pivot points give you horizontal support and resistance and these uh, moving averages gives you dynamic support and resistance. So, Bank Nifty started moving uptrend, downtrend, uptrend, downtrend. So, it was taking ATMA, these candles were taking ATMA at support. And then the Bank Nifty started moving like this. So, here you can see, meanwhile, whenever the Bank Nifty was moving, that was below the 50 EMA. And then, Here, one more thing I want to share, super trend indicator. Whenever your super trend indicator shows you this sign, it shows the now market will start moving upside. It will start uptrend. So here, <coughs> sorry, I am not feeling well today, but thought of making it today because I just very, I just very rarely get free time because of my other activities and involvement in other work also. So <laughs> I think I don't know whether my voice is clear to you people or not but I will try to complete it with my full effort and will will try to give you as much knowledge as possible. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, sorry once again. So, so here it took a support at this point. Uh, here ATMA was acting as a resistance. So friends, whenever you are taking trades, you need to be very careful and need to watch these EMA lines very carefully that what happening. Fine. So it candle was moving along with the EMA line then here also it started moving along with the EMA line so <coughs> whenever we see this kind of movement we can expect a uptrend we can expect a uptrend whenever the candle is not making a too much gap from the EMA line and moving in a particular direction like at this point so we can expect a uptrend and meanwhile it also broke the resistance this pivot point resistance so we saw a very good up move of around 40 to 50 points here so that's how EMA helps us and pivot point also and after reaching at this point it broke the 50 EMA also <coughs> and Super trend was also showing us strength, uptrend signal. Super trend was also giving us uptrend signal. Now, friends, one more interesting thing to be taken care. At this point, then a crossover happened, and whenever you see a crossover of 80 MA to 50 MA on downside, this is 80 MA, this is 50 MA. <coughs> so whenever you see 
Sorry. <laughs> Just a bit. <coughs> <coughs> so whenever you see a 8 8 ema crossover to the 50 ema on downside then you can expect a down movement similarly whenever you see the 8 ema crossover to the 50 ema line on toward upside then you can expect a <coughs> up move and as you know that here we just take trade to 20 10 to 20 points or 15 points trade <coughs> and when you are uh, playing with a heavy quantity then in fact you can take 5 5 points or 10 points trade uh, these 5 to 10 points trade also gives you a good return <coughs> like today morning i took these two trades with 5 points trade and at this point my quantity was good quantity was more so i took a good profit from these two trades also because here my quantity was <coughs> more than the quantity at this point so whenever i just take trade with more quantity i just don't think i just don't wait for the much point my intention with more quantities that i just try to be profitable <coughs> and whenever your trade goes into the profit close it take the profit book the profit and close it <coughs> so after this crossover we started showing a downtrend and here super trend started showing us a signal down downtrend signal so you can see at this point it was showing us a uptrend signal and then we saw a very good uptrend and at this point super trend show showed us <coughs> it shows a down signal so we saw a very good downtrend similarly as i'm as i said that we this v wap act very perfectly as a dynamic support and resistance these candles took support at v wap and when a <coughs> retracement on upside occur so this took they said 1140 and this whole movement <coughs> went up to 50 ma line and at 50 ema 50 ma acted as a support <coughs> so after that once again the retracement happened and uh, the market was started trading in a particular range so <coughs> i have shared in my previous videos also i try to take all the trades before 10 am because we get a very good volume during 10 am <coughs> as you can see that after 10 am the volume start decreasing and just some of we very rarely get one or two high <coughs> volume trades <coughs> <coughs> so at this point this moment happened and uh, here once again 50 ema acted as a support sorry resistance <coughs> and then just all this moment normal up down normal up down moment started happening and meanwhile you can see that all this happened between a particular range and above the v wap v wap line <coughs> but a very good trade came at this point after 2 am one more thing i would like to share with you guys uh whenever you take trade try to take the trade before 10 am because at that 
time you get a very good volume and <coughs> and during the end of market hour during that time also you get a very good volume after 2 <coughs> after 2 pm you also get a very good volume and between 12 to 12 30 pm sometimes we also get a good volume between 12 to 12 30 pm but if you miss the early morning trade then try to take the trade after 2 pm also because during that time we also get a very good volume similarly happened at this point as you can see uh when this was into the range it took us <coughs> resistance at super <coughs> super trend and from here we saw a downfall moment and a very big big candle form here at this point 1220 so when this down trend started this candle took retracement and then at 50 ma it took resistance and once again it fall down and this big candle <coughs> fall from 31770 to around this 31600 660 or 670 level so you can see what a big moment it was a very big point if anybody would have taken a trade at this point he would definitely catch a big point and very nice moment happened at this point <coughs> so friends that's how indicators are very helpful and you can use these indicators because uh, as i said that this ema they act very nicely as a support and resistance dynamic support and resistance and whenever retracement happen you you can see that most of the time you will see that during the retracement the <coughs> EMA 50 EMA 8 EMA whatever EMA is closer to the candle that act very perfectly as a support and resistance so same thing happened at this point also we saw a very big downside candle movement and after that <coughs> after that then from this 31700 support point uh, upside movement happened With a lower high, lower low, lower high, <coughs> lower low, and when this break this trend line, because you can draw this kind of trend line whenever you are taking trade. When this break this trend line, then one more downward movement happen. <coughs> one more thing I would like to share with with you guys. Whenever you catch the trend, you identify the trend that yes, this trend. is going to be up up trend or down trend try to take the trade during the retracement <coughs> don't try to catch the up move or down move directly just wait for the retracement like here if the up move has started wait for the retracement so that you can get entry at a perfect price because i assume that most of most of you guys are with small capital here so it very <coughs> so it matters a lot for you people to take trade accurate because if continuously your, your stop loss will get hit then you will end up losing your money so it becomes so important for you people to take trade perfect trade perfect entry and <coughs> keep trailing your stop loss so that you will not end up losing your money if trade goes into your favor and if it goes against you then your stop loss it then your stop loss should be as per your risk to reward it 
you you need to decide that how much risk you are going to take for a particular trade as per your reward <coughs> so that's how you need to decide the trade always try to take the trade at retracement so that like this if we, if you would have taken a trade at this point <coughs> retracement didn't happen but even in that case also if it if the trend line get broke downside still no problem the stop loss will hit but what if it it would have moved upside <clears throat> then you would have definitely made a good entry good points so that's what i want to convey here that try to take the trade during retracement because retracements gives us a good risk to reward <clears throat> So friends, that's what I mostly do, and uh, I have shared with you guys my set of my strategies and indicators I use. So friends, same strategy, same setup. You people can do same. I mean, the same way you can trade on rest of the days also, and that's what I do. And I hope you people like this video, and I have tried to convey. It and share each and every information which i have shared in my previous videos and this today's video was specifically for my friends who cannot understand hindi and those who requested me for english <coughs> and i would also like to say sorry to you people because today i am not feeling well and when i started making videos everything was perfect but all of a sudden <coughs> i'm just unable to control my cough but still i thought that it's very important if i started to make this video then i should complete this video so that i can share with you guys whatever i have shared in my previous video in previous hindi videos still if if, if you people have any doubt and any query then please feel free to ask that in the comment section i will try to give answer of each and every question <coughs> in a best possible manner and would definitely share with you guys so and one more request those who have not uh, subscribe to my channel if you like my work if you like whatever i am doing for you people at free of cost then please <coughs> like and subscribe my channel it will definitely motivate me to make su such more videos in coming future so till the time bye bye <clears throat> bye bye thank you good night